Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, it's the 4th of July and I'm working on a video for you. And uh, being the 4th of July, I had to wear red, white, red, white, and blue. And the only thing I had with red, white, and blue was, uh, was this. So there we go. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm working with the uh, W7 IUV preamp circuit. Now here's a schematic of the circuit up here. And as you can see, it's a single transistor um, uh, RF amplifier using a uh, low noise floor, high gain transistor. And uh, it's a, a fairly straightforward RF preamp. You, you power it with nine to 12 volts. And I've found it actually works pretty well down to five. Um, and uh, it's a broadband amplifier. It's gonna amplify all the RF coming in from your antenna and then uh, feed it back into your receiver, providing you quite a bit of gain. At five volts, I'm seeing in the, in the arena of 20 to 30 dB of gain, which is just crazy. Uh, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to put it on my junk box mag loop using the magnetic loop as a narrow pre-selector, basically, uh, for the preamp for receive and see how well it worked. And the results were a little surprising. So here's um, the uh, junk box mag loop, and you can see the preamp board down there uh, on, the, uh, on the stand. Here's a close-up view of the preamp. Now, uh, in this build, which this board was sent to me by John over in uh, Germany, thanks again, John. Um, in this build, you can see this large inductor on the right. Um, the, and the output to the receiver is coupled to a capacitor to block DC and this inductor goes from the coax into the other side of the capacitor. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to feed voltage up the coax and put the preamp at the antenna. And that's the ideal configuration. The reason you want the preamp at the antenna and not at the radio side of your feed line is if the preamp was next to your radio, it would be amplifying all the noise that's picked up by the coax feed line on the run up to the antenna as well as the signals that you want. By putting the preamp at the other end of the feed line, at the antenna, it's only amplifying the RF energy from the antenna that you're interested in and not amplifying all that noise that your feed line might be picking up on its run back to your radio. So that's the reason for wanting to do that. Okay, so back to the mag loop. So a mag loop is a very, very high Q antenna, very narrow bandwidth. Um, and what I've done here is I've just temporarily mounted this preamp to play with and you can see I've got a BNC connector to go up to the antenna or to go back to my radio and on the other end I've got a short coax that just connects to the connector on the back of the mag loop so I can very easily um, plug the antenna just right directly into the mag loop if I want to use it as a transmitting antenna and then switch over if I want to use it as a receive antenna so pretty straightforward um, although you have to be careful if I had my feed line attached to the mag loop, the coupling loop on the mag loop is a DC short. It's a short piece of wire that's just basically a DC short. And if I turned on my bias T voltage supply while I had the coax connected to the mag loop, well, I'd either blow my bias T board or pop a fuse or something because it would be feeding voltage into a dead short. So <laughs> gotta watch out for that. Um, ultimately, I will probably put this preamp in its own case and uh, put a switch in there that properly allows me to bypass it. Um, and then I can use it for experimental purposes. But speaking of experiments, let's get to the mag loop and uh, let's see how well this thing receives and, and what difference the preamp makes. For comparison, I've got the uh, mini whip that's actually outside now under the eave of my roof and we'll be able to switch between those easily enough. And for a signal source, um, somebody wanted a more controlled signal source so downstairs on the bench, I have my signal generator generating a carrier somewhere around 15.1 megahertz um, that we'll use as our signal source for doing these measurements. And that'll, that'll be a very nice and steady, uh, constant um, carrier. So let's go to the, uh, to the main computer here, fire up Cubic, and let's take a look at some signaling. Okay, so right now I have 
the uh, coax connected directly to the magnetic loop. Um, no preamp in line at all. And up here on cubic, we'll look at the antenna selections. Antenna B is the magnetic loop. Antenna A is the mini whip up um, under the uh, eave of the roof just outside the window here. So comparative distance to the signal source, there's maybe an additional six feet in distance for the mini whip. The uh, RF generator is, yeah, right over there under the floor down in my basement. So yeah, about, okay, about eight feet. There's about eight more feet um, from the signal source to the mini whip. So I guess you could take that into account, but I think that over that short distance, we're just not gonna see that much of a, of a fall off in strength. So let's just call it close enough to be equal. Um, anyway, we're on the magnetic loop right now. And uh, this, I'll go to cubic. And this is my signal right here that's being generated downstairs. So you can see we've just got a nice carrier wave. And on cubic, um, this graph range where your signals are here in the spectrum shows you a uh, relative range of uh, signal strength. So right now, negative 30 dB is at the top of the graph. And I can't read that. I need my glasses. Negative 97 dB is uh, the bottom of the graph. So in the, this is automatically automatic gain controlled. Um, this will change as our signals change. So if I detune the magnetic loop uh, and the signal drops off, you can see the automatic gain kick up. So now the signal's almost reaching negative 47 dB. And if I bring the magnetic loop back in, you'll see the bump over here you can see there it is. There's our, our sensitive point on the magnetic loop right there. And I'll tune it over to where we're on the signal. And that brought us up to negative 26 dB. So uh, quite a jump there just on the magnetic loop. Now, this is just the magnetic loop, all right? So uh, AGC has got us at negative 26 dB. Now I'm going to patch in the preamp, the uh, W7 preamp IUV. So I move the coax over, plug the preamp back into the back of the loop. Okay, so right now the preamp is not powered. We're still getting signal through. It's a single stage transistor amplifier, so there's leakage through it. And as you can see, negative 38.2 dB. So now we'll turn on the power to the preamp, the W7 IUV preamp by turning on bias T on the uh, SDR play. Boom. And now we're up to negative 16, so quite a bit of uh, an improvement there in signal strength. And you can see the noise floor came up just slightly from where it was off the straight antenna. So um, that preamp is making quite a difference. Uh, I think I measured the leakage. Yeah, let's see here, we'll turn off the bias. We were at negative uh, 29 before, and we're at about negative 38. So, yeah, in, in and around um, 10 dB of insertion loss um, with the preamp board if it's not powered. So I can just factor that in and, and making my calculations figure just the straight magnetic loop will just add 10 dB of uh, signal level. Okay, so from negative 37.6, with the preamp on, negative 16, you know, so that's 20 dB of, uh, of gain um, with that little preamp. For comparison, the uh, mini whip, which is about eight feet further away, a little bit better, okay, negative 10 dB. So, the mini whip's doing just a little bit better. But this mag loop is doing pretty fair. Now, uh, what about real world signals? Let's, uh, let's go find, see if WWV's coming in on 10 megahertz here. Oh, lots of noise right there. 
drop my RF gain down a little bit. I think I can see WWV. Yeah, we're not quite getting it. What about at 15? Okay, now this is the Mini Whip. And that's WWV. And it's way, way down here. So let's go to the uh, magnetic loop. Preamp is on. Now I've got to tune the loop to find that sweet spot. Let's see, I was at... Right about there. Now we'll switch to the external mini loop or mini whip. Signal came up a bit. Still, the uh, one foot square magnetic loop here inside the house is doing pretty good. Top of our AGC is sitting at uh, 24.1. We'll switch to the uh, magnetic loop. Same conditions, and we went down about 8 dB in sensitivity. So um, that's not too bad. Um, this little uh, magnetic loop, as just as a receive antenna here inside the house, being one foot square is not all that great, but adding this preamp to it has really improved that signal level quite a bit. So, conclusion. the. Uh, W7IUV preamp is a, is a nice addition to any receiving antenna to get a little bit more gain. Now I'm feeding it with 5 volts right now. Uh, so it'll uh, probably about double in performance if you're feeding it with 9 to 10 volts. Um, so yeah, even at this low voltage level it's providing 20 dB of gain. That's, that's quite an improvement. So I hope you found that interesting on your 4th of July. Be safe out there. Don't blow off any fingers or toes. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.